Hey guys, welcome back to the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. In the last episode, we completed the rest of um, the Lake Bed Temple. It took us a long time to actually do that, do this because, well, I got stuck a couple places and the, the recording ended up being an hour long. So hopefully I can edit that down to being about 40 minutes, at least under 40 minutes. But anyway, wanna go outside? Are you all done here? Yep. <sighs> okay. This is one of my favorite parts of the game. And I apologize, my dad is still mowing the lawn. <sighs> A week later, right? Want to save? Okay. Yeah, last time I saved was back in February. <laughs> And it is now April 24th. Yep. Here we go. Oh, I should have changed. I didn't change. Dang it. Ah! I wanted to see it in the green tunic. But, ah, uh, no. We got Zant here. Ugh. Light spirit is down. Maybe. Yeah. Light spirit is down. Then this area is now back in the twilight. This is the first time Link is actually encountering Xant, if I remember correctly. Xant. <laughs> There goes all our hard work! Did you honestly mean to take an ancient and withered power like this and turn it against me? You are a foolish traitor, Midna. Why do you defy your king? My king? You who do nothing but abuse the magic of your tribe? You must be joking! How dare you! Are you implying that my power is our old magic? Now that is a joke. <laughs> this power is granted to me by my god. It is the magic of the King of Twilight, and you will respect it. Well, that might not have been the smartest move, Link. Because now we got a shard thing in our forehead. Yep, it's now stuck there. <laughs> My Midna, did you forget? That beast is one of the light dwellers who oppressed our people. No matter how much you may desire otherwise, you will never be more than a shadow in their world. You cannot consort with their kind. But if we can make their world ours, Midna, light and darkness will meet at last. Our tribe will take back their realm, and sweet darkness will blot out this harsh light. And that, Midna, is why. I need you. Not just for me, but for all of our people. Lend me your power. <coughs> So be it. I will return you to the light world you covet. Link is gone too. 
Oh, yeah, my dad's finally done mowing the lawn. <laughs> We're still a wolf. Link, hero chosen by the gods. No, by the goddesses. The light spirit is talking, by the way. Go to the princess locked away in the castle. That princess holds the key that can unlock you from your shadow form. Best music in the game. <laughs> I love this music. Stallhound, leave me alone. I want to listen to the music. You leave me alone too. Um, I need to go this way actually. And now it's raining. Okay, let me go off the path. Because I don't want to trigger that guy. And then cut off the beautiful music. Uh oh. No, stallhounds. Okay. So if you remember a, a while ago, Telma had said that there's a secret passage from the bar to the castle. That's where we're going to be heading. Because we need to get to the castle. And, well, since we're a wolf, we can't exactly waltz through the front door, so... I actually haven't planned out this portion of the episode, how long it'll be, or whatever, so... I don't know if we'll make it all the way to... Um, well, we'll make it all the way to the princess, I know that, but I don't know if we'll make it to the next part. Hello? I just hate the rain. I can't get comfortable whether I sit or stand. Maybe my sixth sense is trying to tell me something. Now the people in the light realm can actually see me though, so if I were to run around them, they would say- Oh, cats! Haven't seen your face around here before. If you want to know about this town, then you should ask Louise, Thomas' cat. You look so stern. With that look on your face, you'll frighten the humans. Yeah, so basically we gotta stay away from the humans, but... We need to go speak to Louise. So... Ah! People are screaming. Okay. Tell them the door happens to be open. But beast, get out! We don't actually take damage, so. Tell them bar. You there. How did the cat open that? Probably just by pushing it, I guess. You're Link, correct? Hmm, yes, I thought so. I could just tell, you know. I'm Louise. Do you remember meeting me in the shop before? Though, though I don't think we were properly introduced. In any case, I must tell you, I'm a bit puzzled as to why you look like that. Really, dear, you can't blame the humans for tossing you out the way you look. Oh. Another patient? You certainly are a curious sort. P please Princess Z Zelda. This way. Here, get in through the window. The attic is connected to the castle's waterway. It's an old waterway, though, so it could be a rough trip. Well, I suppose all that's left to do is make sure that the humans don't notice you. Alright. So, that's our next, next task. Come on, push it. Okay. Uh, get on. Get on. Okay. There we go. Uh.
This part can be easy or it can be really hard depending on your play style. I'm gonna listen to all the conversations here because it's fun. But, okay. So, bottom line is don't break the pots and don't fall. The Elder told me to escort Telma, but the, si the, uh, the city air does not suit my skin. Okay, so I guess the Goron came over here. Because... Is that the same listen thing? Yeah. Uh, I cannot wait to return home and soak in the hot spring. Now we can listen to Telma. How's it come to this, huh? Monsters walking the streets of town. What in the world are the soldiers of Hyrule doing? The Gorons are so much more reliable than they are, it's not even funny. I'm trying to give Telma like a... Not quite a... a kind of a southern bell, I guess. Okay. Don't push the pots off either. And don't pick up the pots. Because we don't need to break- Oh, wait, 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 go back. You need to listen to this pump. Oh, okay. Link, don't scare me like that. Okay. This could be bad if, I, if that pot falls. Okay, there we go. I heard that an acquaintance of Thomas defeated the beast that had been attacking tourists on the bridge. His name was Link. It sounds as though he brought Telma and her young lord to Kakariko Village. And here I was, thinking Hyrule was, was empty of men of valor. Oh no, I, do, I don't believe he's from Hyrule proper at all. No, my understanding is that he is from a small neighboring province in Ordona, of Ordona. This may sound horribly elitist, but people who do not know the city simply do not know fear. All right. So, they're important characters that we will be meeting later. But, yeah. Okay, maybe this? Have we already taken out a Poe? I don't remember. I thought we already took out a Poe. Oh my gosh, stop. Um, here, this is about no- yeah. No? No? I guess we haven't taken out Poe's before. That's weird. I thought we had. Basically, you can only fight Poe's while in wolf form. Because you have to use your senses to spot them. Postal. Oh, th thanks for beating the ghost. Can I call you Doggy? I'm Giovanni. I became consumed by greed long ago and sold my soul to a dark creature that did this to me. I can't move. I can't go see my girlfriend. My pet cat, Gangle, is frozen on my head. I don't think I could be more miserable. I have to ask you a favor, Doggy. Can you find and defeat the 20 ghosts that lurk in the dark for me? I think if you can free the pieces of my soul from the ghosts that hold them, I'll be free. Oh, but it's raining out now, so I don't think you can go outside directly. I'll open the door to the underground waterway for you. What's interesting is... Okay. Once the rain stops, you can come back here, here, back in here by digging around the front wall where the cats gather. Understand, doggy? Okay. So, what I don't understand is Hyrule's currency is rupees, right? So why are there gold coins here? How, uh, how are you, 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 you buy things with, with rupees, not with gold coins. So gold coins are kind of worthless here. Unless they're gold rupees. Gold rupees are worth 300, so. I don't know. I don't really have a need to kill the rats. Oh, come on. There we go. I just wanted to kill him so I would feel satisfied that I did so. Oh no, come on. Okay. Whatever. We're going to continue down the way. There we 
go. Got him. Okay. It's not easy to fight as a wolf, especially when enemies are on their guard. Oh, come on! Come on! Okay. There we go. I was literally just one hit away from killing him. in the game. Okay. So let's kill all the enemies so we can keep, keep hearing the best music in the game. Okay, I thought there was another torch over there. Whoops! take this long to climb up the castle but to get to the castle so I'll probably have to end it right when we're at work when we're done talking with the princess so Minda's not able to help us do the jumps and stuff anymore so that's why there's more ropes this time we can hear the rain again Okay, I want to be careful how many times I press the button because I just don't, I don't want to just spam it and then hope I hit my target. Okay, I'm just gonna leave him and go out the door. Okay. Oh, hi. Oh, the wind is blowing and kind of pushing me around a little bit. Okay, so the wind is actually going to help us get to places that Midnight had helped us get to before. Get on. 
one. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh! No. Okay, those are boxes down there, so there's no point in going over there. enemies in the area, right? Okay, so last time Minda helped us get across by having us hop along the scaffolding there, right? Well, this time we're gonna have to take this bridge. But we're gonna have to be careful. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna let me jump down here. Please tell me, how do we break the curse on this one? This is the one. You need him to save your world. That's why, Princess, please, you must help Link. Binds him is a different magic than what transformed him when he first passed the curtain of twilight. It is an evil power. Our world is one of balance. Just as there is light to drive away darkness, so too is there benevolence to banish evil. Head for the sacred grove that lies deep within the lands guarded by the spirit Farron. There, you will find the blade of evil's bane that was crafted by the wisdom of the ancient sages, the Master Sword. The Master Sword is a sacred blade that evil can never touch. Evil cloaks you like a dark veil, and that blade is the only thing that can cleave it. Link, hero sent by the goddesses. Like you, I have been granted special powers by the goddesses. Fine, Link, you can you can get to the woods on your own, right? Princess, I have one last request. Can you tell me where to find the mirror of twilight? Midna, I believe I understand now just who and what you are. Despite your mortal injuries, you act in our stead. These dark times are the result of our deeds, yet it is you who have reaped the penalty. Accept this now, Midna. I pass it to you. We go back, Link. Back to Farron Woods. Mm. 
Oh, Zelda, oh, I've taken all that you had to give, though I did not want it. Alright. I think I'm gonna end the episode off here. Well, once the cutscene is done. I might talk a little bit about the cutscene before we actually end the video. Oh, then there's this. Yep. We won't be going back to Hyrule Castle now for a while. pause the game so the music's not quite all that loud in my ears. Um, let's talk about that for a little bit. So, the cutscene kind of has always... This part of the game, like, that part of the game was, it was like one of my favorite parts of the game growing up, and it still is my favorite part of the game with the, the music and and the drama and it's like, oh, ripping at your heart screams, Midna's gonna die, and, and then Zelda sacrifices herself to to, or something like that, to save Midna. Zelda gives Midna her power, I guess, or something, to keep Midna alive in the, in the Light Realm, or something like that. But, then the question becomes, cause Zelda's not dead, so I always thought that maybe, uh, Zelda and Midna had kind of become one person, sort of? It's kind of hard to explain. So, like, basically, Zelda's kind of traveling with us, but as Midna, uh, Midna still has her own will, of course, but, um, Midna is slowly learning to become, like, or slowly learning, like, what it is that, hu why humans are so, like, benevolent and, like, good people and, they, like, they care for each other and Midna's learning to care for Link. Um, which is why she was willing to kind of sacrifice herself there, kind of, she, she was, she was asking, I don't want to do too many spoilers, because I'm probably going to forget to talk about this when we actually get to the Mirror of Twilight that they mentioned, because Midna did mention the Mirror of Twilight for a very important reason, and, um, and, uh, Zelda did, uh, realize who Midna actually is, and I'm not gonna spoil that until we actually get to the park. But, um, yeah, it, uh, it kind of always confused me when I was a kid, wondering, um, who Midna is and whatnot, but, uh, not that part, um, I, uh, the, like, how did Zelda disappear like that, and then how to, cause she reappears later on in the game, of course. It wouldn't be the Legend of Zelda if Zelda died, right? Or Link, or whatever. Well, I mean, Link dies all the time in the new great gems, but... Anyway, I'm rambling now. Okay. We're gonna end the episode off here, because it's about 30 minutes now. And this music is really loud in my ears. And this guy wants to fight me. So we're gonna kill him real quick. Uh, let me kill you. Okay. I'm gonna go stand at the edge of the bridge here real quick. So, there's just gonna basically be a lot of traveling in the next episode. Actually, we can warp there, so I might as well just warp. Um, I'll be warping in between episodes, cause, yeah. And now we got, um, postals we can collect, but we'll be doing that once, <laughs> once we're back into, back to our normal selves. So I'll be heading, we'll be heading somewhere over here, or whatever, in the next episode, so. Alright. We'll be warping there, so it'll save a bunch of time, but, alright. That was kind of cool, but same time kind of not, because then you can't see. Okay. Alright. 
I'm going to pop up a couple videos here real quick. The next episode will be linked here once it's posted. So, if you guys like this episode, please leave it a like. And if you would like to see more, please subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!